the wait is over for Leesburg Bike Fest 2021. So what's it like hauling a camper with a motorcycle? Well, it's uh, probably not for everybody, I'll say that. Uh, this thing's pretty loaded. I got about, I mean, with the generator, the AC unit, you know, our uh, shower tent, a couple, you know, the table, chairs, or the tent itself. That trailer probably weighs right around, I'm gonna guess right around 550. You know, it's 550 pounds or so. So when you ride it, man, you really gotta, well, I guess you gotta drive it like a semi. My experience driving truck kind of helps out. So I've pulled trailers and big heavy loads before, and you gotta kind of drive it the same way. You gotta give yourself plenty of space. You figure with me and a passenger on it, and that trailer and the weight of this bike, I mean, that's probably close to 1,800 pounds or so. You're, you're asking a lot of this little, uh, those two little tires. As far as the mechanics of it go, when you slow down, you always want to use your uh, your rear brake first. Uh, it's not like, you know, normally, I mean, I'm all a front brake guy. I hardly ever use the rear brake for anything. Hauling a trailer, man, it's, uh, it's, it's no joke. You gotta be careful. Yeah, your weight distribution in your trailer is the, the main thing. You know, you don't want too much weight behind the back axle. Because if not, you've all seen them trailers go down the road and they're swinging back and forth like crazy because, you know, they don't put the weight weight in front of the axle. So, and like this, everything's going to be almost perfectly balanced. It's going to be real careful how you load your stuff, what you load. But I put everything in there. Never been accused of being too smart, so I put it all in there and, you know, I just go. Yeah, you gotta drive like a semi, you gotta keep that room, you gotta keep that gap, that safety gap, that's for sure. But anyways, that's uh, what it's like hauling a trailer with a motorbike. You know, if you have any questions, put them down in there in the comments. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil was on my trail. I've been running. service we really do appreciate it um, and thank you for your sacrifice you know it's uh 
not a whole lot of people can say that they would do that for their fellow man and they do. So God bless our vets. Thank you very much for your service. So I'm hanging out here at Bikers Sleep for Cheap. It's a little campground here in town, Leesburg, Florida, and hanging out in the infamous Cockroach Corner with my neighbors, Lucky and Sue. They're super cool. They've been a bike fest neighbors for ours for the last few years, at least when they've had it here. Uh, this place, uh, Bikers Sleep for Cheap, is a really cool kind of place. It's empty now because it's actually the day before bike fest. Uh, we decided to come up early, get set up and stuff so we have a chance to relax. Uh, but this campsite here, Biker Sleep for Cheek, is literally a block and a half away from the center of downtown Leesburg, Florida, where Bike Fest is going to be going on for the next three days with over 60 bands and bike shows and all kinds of shenanigans going. But the cool thing about this place is, is uh, it's kind of a hard spot to get into if they got space get here but once you get your spot reserved they'll keep your spot until you don't come so uh, if someone doesn't show up one year and you want to upgrade your spot well you can take their spot if they don't show it's really cool Linda here at uh, Biker Sleep for Chiefs she's really been taking care of us for the last couple of years she's a great host uh, like I said if you look around right now it's empty there's not a whole lot of people here Hucky Sue you know Cockroach Corner that's always a uh, that's been a staple. They've been coming here for years and years and years, but right now the lot is pretty empty. There isn't a whole lot of people here yet. So everybody's waiting in anticipation. Bike Fest, it officially starts tomorrow. Uh, we got here set up early. We got the old timeout camper in all its glory. Got the geezer glide, got the AC hooked up, got the generator. We got the shower tent. We got everything going on with the camp this time. So this is the day before Bike Fest. I just want to give a shout out to our vets for Veterans Day. And uh, we're going to continue this tomorrow when the events start happening. Stick around.
Well, it's the uh, last day of Leesburg Bike Fest. Last day I'm gonna be here. Uh, most people, the campsite, they're already packed up and getting ready to go. And I'm getting my camp all packed up and ready to go too. So it's pretty empty. There's quite a few people here last night. But yeah, everybody's uh, breaking stuff down. Well, campground's all clear. The neighbors are all packed up. Those are some good guys over there. Still one day left to Leesburg, but you know, today's usually the country day and stragglers, locals come in on this day. So it, the rest of us camp out, we usually bail out first thing in the morning. This can be it for the uh, camping aspect of this trip. So I'll give you my thoughts and stuff on the, uh, the actual bike fest. You guys be safe and it's always a pleasure as always staying here, so. Oh yeah, absolutely. You'll see us again for sure. Absolutely. Whenever we can. That's uh, cool. See you guys. So yeah, we're on our way home from Leesburg Bike Fest. It has been a fun couple, a fun couple days. Wasn't uh, was as busy as, as a lot of them. It's almost like they had to restart. They kind of, I think, uh, honestly, I think they made people mad. You know, like I said, it's a, it's a big weekend. So people got to plan in advance to take off, you know, if they want to enjoy the entire weekend. And what these guys did, you know, and I don't know who's, whose fault it is or what have you, but they postponed it, but they only waited like four weeks before they decided to postpone after everybody's made plans a month ahead of time. So, and it's all because of what was going on. So everybody kind of like gave them a pass on that. And they told us they were gonna reschedule it. Normally it's in April. So they said they're gonna reschedule for November. And that was November last year. And then they did the same thing to everybody. They waited until, you know, three, four weeks out and then said, oh no, it's postponed again. Uh, and then uh, they postponed it one more time after that. So everybody kind of got sick and tired of uh, waiting around. So it's been almost two years since they've had this event. And this is a big annual event, especially for the people of the town. Um, biggest changes I've seen were a lot of stores were closed that were open. Oh, bunch of garbage there in the road. Gotta be careful of that shit, man. Shit, I forgot what I was saying. But uh, yeah, a lot of the stores were closed. And all those little shops and little places that probably don't get much business throughout the rest of the year. Um, you know, that hurt them. That hurt them pretty bad. So, uh, and I don't think the money was quite there this year like it, it should have been. Uh, a lot of events that, would, that you'd normally expect, uh, the, the, the semi-truck parade, they usually have that. That usually kicks the Leesburg off. And then, you know, the car shows, the lack of the car shows, the lack of bike shows, the stunt bike guys. Uh, there was just a lot of things missing. What this felt like to me was back when, like, 08, when I started going there, you know, there was only 5,000, 10,000 people there. Uh, you know, this year, I don't know how many they had, but it, it was like they were starting, basically, they were starting all over again. I don't know how it's going to work out for them in the future. That remains to be seen. Um, they might have shot themselves in the foot by waiting almost two years. Overall, I, it was actually, you know, I kind of liked it that way. I just felt for the people, felt bad for the people that live in that town where, you know, kind of affected, well, I'm sure it affected their lives not having that in town and that revenue coming in, so. But uh, as far as that, it was very, very, uh, r real mellow, real relaxed. Uh, I had a good time, you know, and just, you know, the camping area was pretty empty, which, you know, was, was nice, and, you know, which made, made it a lot quieter, you know, not a bunch of generators and shit going off all night long and keeping you up, and, you know, there, it was, uh, and like I said, town wasn't so crowded. I mean, it was still a good crowd. It was a good time. But anyway, so, that's my thoughts on, on Leesburg this year. Didn't mean to ramble, but whatever.